Hey everyone, I'm Joel from Hometown Structures and I'm really excited today to talk about the four best ways to heat your greenhouse. And a greenhouse is something that makes you feel amazing about being able to grow your own food, your own veggies, going to your garden and picking everything for dinner, whether it's with friends or family. And one of the things that can be really tough is the growing season. And sometimes it's just not long enough. So what do we do? Well, one of the things that we love helping people do is to create a longer growing season with a greenhouse. And a greenhouse gives you the best environment to grow exactly what you need. And there are actually specific ways to go about heating your greenhouse all year round. And so whether you wanna promote sustainable living or you just wanna be able to enjoy your hobby all year round, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the first of our four ways to heat your greenhouse. So the first method we have seen a lot is the electric heater method. And you may have seen simple electric heaters helping to warm plants, much like they would warm you in a cold basement. And all that needs to happen is a heater needs to be set up where you need it and only run when you need it. Now keep in mind, of course, that you'll need some kind of power outlet which is available. And at the end of the day, electric heating may be one of the simplest and easiest ways to heat because all that it takes is plugging something in. But let's take a detailed look at some of the pros and cons. Some of the pros include that it's simple and easy to run. It really is as simple as plugging it in and turning it on. The next is that it's temperature adjustable. Normally they're built with a knob so you can actually adjust the temperature and sometimes even set it to the exact degree you want. And they're non-toxic. Unlike gas heaters, electric heaters will not emit any fumes and you won't have to refill them. Now, some of the cons include that you may need several heaters because air is difficult to heat. One heater is probably not going to be enough to effectively keep your greenhouse warm. It also can present a fire hazard. Though it's rare, space heaters can be fire hazards. You're gonna need outlets, extension cords, and sometimes that can all amount to a fire. It will also not work during a power outage and it has the potential to increase your monthly electric bill. The second way you could go when heating your greenhouse is by using propane. You have the choice of using a portable heater or you can actually set up a more permanent option for all of your propane heating needs. And if you've ever used a gas grill, you know exactly how propane works. And so all that's left for us to do is take a look at those detailed pros and cons of using propane to heat your greenhouse. Now, some of the pros include that it really is an efficient heat source. Propane is known for its high energy content, which means it really can produce a significant amount of heat when it's burned. This makes it a really efficient heating choice for heating a greenhouse, especially in those colder climates. It also has quick and responsive heat, and propane heaters can provide rapid heat output, allowing for fast temperature adjustments in the greenhouse. This is really beneficial when there's sudden drops in temperature, or if specific plants require like really precise temperatures, and it just allows you to get away from the rapid drops in temperature for your greenhouse. It also gives you an independence from electricity. Propane heating systems can operate very independently from electricity, which is really nice in areas where there's some power outages or for whatever reason, your electrical infrastructure may not actually be as reliable as you think it is. Some of the cons include the carbon footprint. And although propane is cleaner than other fossil fuels, it still releases CO2, still releases carbon dioxide when it's burned. If reducing greenhouse gas emissions is a priority for you, then you may want to consider some alternate heating methods. There's also another con of combustion safety because propane heaters require very careful handling and regular maintenance to ensure that they're operated really safely. You're also gonna to wanna to think about ventilation because you need to monitor carbon monoxide levels because you do not want any kind of health or safety risks. The next con is the storage and supply logistics. Storing propane on site necessitates having appropriate storage tanks and actually complying with some safety regulations as you do that. Additionally, ensuring the reliable source of propane is actually gonna require coordinating deliveries or managing inventory levels to prevent interruptions in heating. And finally, we get to cost. You're gonna to need to continually purchase more propane for your greenhouse during the colder months when you wanna heat it. Unlike other options, this cost never goes away. 
The third way you could go about heating your greenhouse is with water barrels. So how do you go about this? It really is quite simple. All you need are jugs of water and a sunny place to store them. You could spray paint the jugs black, or better yet, you could use black jugs or barrels and find a spot in the greenhouse that receives tons of sunshine. The barrels will then absorb the heat during the day and release it at night. Boom, there you have it, a warm greenhouse. So we need to ask, what are the pros and the cons of using water barrels to heat your greenhouse? Well, some of the pros are that it's low cost. Aside from the storage containers for the water, there's really little to no expenses. It's also flexible with the seasons. In the summer months, these jugs can be used to cool and regulate the temperature of your greenhouse, making them multifunctional. It's also good for emergencies. If you find yourself in a sudden cold snap, this can come in handy. So what are the cons? The first one is that they're weather dependent. This is not a great method if you have cloudy winters, and it can be tough to figure out a quick solution if this is your main heating method. The next is that it takes up space. Naturally, the more water containers you have in your greenhouse, the less grow room that you'll have for your plants, for your fruits, for your vegetables. And the next is that a lack of precise temperature control can be tough to figure out. Do some of your plants need very specific temperatures and how are you going to go about giving them those temperatures? The final way we would recommend using to heat your greenhouse is with an underground heat exchange system. Now the name may make it sound intense, but all it does is use the earth to your advantage. Here's what I mean by that. This utilizes geothermal energy which is quickly becoming popular all over the world. And so when temperatures rise during the day, the fan will kick on to store the hot air underground for later use. Once the temperatures drop below 50 degrees or so, the fan will kick on to raise the temperatures back up using that heat that it was storing underground to keep your greenhouse stable. Much like the water barrels, this option also works with thermostat controlled fans and the intake system to cool the greenhouse when needed in those hot, hot summer months. So what are the pros? The first pro is that the underground heat exchange system allows you full control over the temperature of your greenhouse. You can really tailor the heat that is utilized with the system to the specific plants that you have in your greenhouse. These systems can most often times be set up for you to create an easy way for you to get the proper heat in your greenhouse and it does not continually cost you money each month like the propane option would. Finally, it is very environmentally friendly. It's a great greenhouse heating option if you're worried and concerned with the environment. Now the cons are that it has higher upfront costs more so than the water barrels, and if it breaks, you may need some assistance in getting it back up and running. So there we go the four methods we have seen in heating and sometimes cooling your greenhouse. Here at Hometown Structures, we offer the underground heat exchanger as an add-on option to our greenhouses because we truly believe this sets you up for the best growing success that you want all year round. With so many customizable options available and a variety of window choices and venting options, you can make your greenhouse truly your own. Let us know if you have any questions, and if you're looking for the perfect greenhouse, we would absolutely love to talk with you. You can head to our website, which is in a link right below this video, and submit a free quote. You can call us from our website to continue growing your favorite items all year round. Thanks for watching.